I might as well just talk to you guys. Hold on. Alright, so check it out. So, Yoga Boy organized this um, 30th anniversary exhibition, which should start like any second now, but Fightcade decided it doesn't want to work. Um, <laughs> bit of a conspiracy here. So you guys can't say that I'm killing 2X. It wasn't me, I promise. But um, what's going to happen is uh, we're just going to go in order. So it's going to start with Jumpsuit and Mars and Winter Stays On. <laughs> what's up, Climax? And uh, Winter Stays On. And we're just going to go down the list until the anchors do it. And, and then that's that. So uh, your anchors are going to be Reno and Hokuto. It wasn't me, I swear. Yeah, this is FT1. So once you get your one game in and you lose, get out of here. Or if you win, stay on there. And then when you lose, get out of there. Yeah, so Mars put up a stipulation. He said, I'll, I'll play as long as I get to play first. Um, so what's going to happen is, like, once we're ready to go, which we need to wait a few minutes for everyone to log in, like, I'll call the first match. And then after that, you're just going to wait to find your opponent. But can Mars? Mars can probably OCV. Maybe. That boy, Magadi. Magadi. Yeah, Reno. So, uh, Technical Monkey, Josh, C, and I think Mega Man. They're all going to play from uh, Brooklyn. So, good thing they're all on the same team, right? Also, I don't know how these teams were formed. Um... It's not really based on any coast. Like, I don't represent you guys, right? I don't represent Mars and Zoolander and Psychochronic. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But, uh... I mean, I'm on Fightcade and I'm chilling. But... I'm getting pings all over Discord about... Hey, I'm having an issue. I can't connect. And... <laughs> my DMs are getting nasty. Eventually, it'll work. Um... Like, I'm in right now. Here, just to prove it. Let's load up some Yito versus Carabano. So you can see, I'm not lying. Just let it chill there. Let it simmer a little bit. Once Fightcade loads... Oops. Once Fightcade loads... Uh-oh. Maybe it... Oh, wait. You know what? It is working. There we go. But yeah, once Fightcade loads, then it'll take a second to get into the game. And then once you get in the game... Then you'll be good to go. But yeah, you just gotta get in first. Anyway. So now you guys know it works. I wasn't lying. So yeah, for anyone that's messaged me on Discord and stuff, now you know. Just uh just wait a couple minutes. But I'm with Reno. I'm actually down for an HD Remix tournament. I've been saying that for a while. I just haven't done it yet. But is it time, guys? Should we? I got my Xbox right here. I'm 100% down. Maybe not tonight. But, like, yeah, we could do an HD tournament. I think it's a good time to eventually uh, get on HDR. Because y'all aren't ready for another USF2 run back. Y'all don't want to see me win another one, so... Yeah, I could, I could <laughs> get him on, on commentary, I think. Um, so, I guess right now this is more or less the uh, 30th anniversary of 2X show. This is like a podcast now. So I'm just going to talk over some music. But yeah, what, is, what does 2X mean to y'all? What does it mean to you guys? Better yet, what does 2XKO mean to you guys? Ah, oh, sounds good. That's sweet. I ain't do I ain't do nothing. 
All right, Mars got in, so he's just trying to get into the 2X room, so that's good. I see Yoga Boy, I see Soundscope, I see Jack, I see everyone's finally getting in, so that's good. That's the start of something great. Is Jumpsuit in? Can we get Jumpsuit against a Dalsim player so I can see some cool combos again? Yoga boy, it's not my fault. I don't like the game. <laughs> What's up, Hukudo? It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. I don't like playing the game. It's just I just don't want to play it. So what? <laughs> I still put in the hours <laughs> when I need to. Oh, that boy Karopi. Follow the channel. It ain't my fault, that's all I gotta say. So if anyone understands the format of the regular East-West, it's just winner stays on. So we're gonna go in order. So if your name is Mongolo Robocop, you're not playing until Zass loses and until Jumpsuit loses. Once they lose, it's your turn to play, Mongolo Robocop. If your name is Josh C., you're probably not going to get to play because we have Mars and Myung on the team. Sorry, guys. But <laughs> but you, you get it, right? Winner stays on FT1. And as long as everyone's on Discord and you're watching the stream, it's really easy, you know, to, to know when it's your turn, I think. There you go, Climax. Yeah, you don't need to play Climax. We got Mars here. Yo, what up, Robocop? My boy Murphy. Everyone gets to play. This list was a lot larger at one point. This list was like double the size, but you know, it's, it's difficult getting so many people on a Friday night playing, but hey, Wait, that command doesn't work anymore? Did it disable it? There you go. Yeah, follow follow that other channel where I play Valorant. It's my main game. I'm a Valorant player full time. Yeah, that's a fun, uh, versus, uh, GameSpot versus is a cool, has a cool format. So, like, once one of the teams wins, he has to fight anyone else that was remaining on, on his own team. Yo, what up, Cali Agent? Oh, what's up, Jumpsuit? He's not on voice chat, because if he was, a little icon would pop up. Um, <laughs> all right, so, so uh, here, let me send you a screenshot. Um, so if you're on the Dr. Pepper server, Karopi, I hope you're listening. If you're on the Dr. Pepper server, scroll all the way down. There's too many channels here. Scroll all the way down and click on the one that says Riz One Stream. You're gonna scroll down like a lot. And then you'll see me there and you can click that. I remember I had, uh, what was it, Mike Watson once, and I had to explain to him how to set up his mic. <laughs> Yo, what up, Neo? Yo, what's up, Mike? Mike, I saw your message earlier. Sorry, I didn't respond. I saw it. I will respond to you, but that was some crazy lore. Thank you for sharing. 
And you gotta see Vital too. Yo, jumpsuit. I posted up a. Uh... Here, let me link it in the chat. I posted up a clip that you did once, actually against a Dalson player. Hopefully, we get to see some crazy stuff from you tonight. Let me let me drop that clip real quick in the chat so you can check it out. Check that out. Oh, I think Kurope's in the chat. Now we just we just gotta make sure his uh, mic's set up. And then I guess after that, we can get started with our first match. Let's just make sure we got audio from Kuropi and uh, good to go. Hello. Yo, what up? Hey. Yo, can you hear me? Yes. Damn. I haven't talked to you in like forever. What's well, good? I know. I think it was TL2. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we like briefly spoke once after that, but it was a long time ago. Sorry, we don't have time to catch up right now. We got to get this event going. But thank you for joining uh, tonight's stream. And again, thank you, Yoga Boy, for organizing this. So the rules yeah, are... Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, so the rules are it's your team versus my team. But I'm rooting for anyone and everyone. I don't really care. But I hope Mars, Zoolander, Psychochronic, Climax, Kill Your Air Throw, Comeback, Myung, Joss, Sea Vital, Cross, Second Little Monkey, Mega Man, and Reno do well. Yeah. That's pretty much all I got to say about that. But uh, no, nah, for real... Should be a good time. Uh, a lot of character variety, a lot of different locations here in NA. And uh, yeah, we should properly catch up at another <laughs> time. But uh, but no, it's cool. Thank you for thank you for joining. Um, yeah, let's get right yeah. into it. Thanks for inviting. All right. So, Yoga Boy, do you want to start calling the matches? It's going to be winner stays on FT1. Um, I mean, that's, that's basically it. Winter stays on FT1, starting with Mars and Jumpsuit. But what I'll do is I'm gonna oh shoot. So you so you're not familiar with Discord, right? Like that. I gotta I'm gonna have to share my screen with you um when the match goes up. So guys, when you get in your match, don't play right away. Wait until I get it up on the stream. So that way I can also share my screen to, to Kropi and then like we'll be able to properly commentate. Uh, but yeah, let's get Jumpsuit versus Mars. I think Jumpsuit said he's at Sea Vitals, so Sea Vital is Jumpsuit, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, wow, really? this is the first match. This, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, because Mars requested to go first. He's like, I'll play. I'll play, Yoga Boy, but I want to go first. So, all right, Retro sounds, AF. Sounds like Mars. Yeah. I don't see you in the Ficade lobby, Retro AF. Let me see if Mars is in there. I don't see Mars either. Unless Ficade's broken for me. Do you guys see them? Dude, I hope Ficade's not broken. And for those that are like, yo, I can't get in, you'll eventually get in. But, uh... What's Mars' name under? I don't see Aphrodia. Unless I'm spelling it wrong. Yeah, I don't see it. Uh-oh. So, maybe my... Oh, yeah, you know what? My uh, fight cage's broken. So, I can't... I can't... I can't even get in. Hold on. Real quick. This might take another 10 minutes. I just exited Fightcade. Sorry, guys. And you should also <laughs> probably do the same. Yeah, I think I think it's broken for everybody, so. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been able to get in. All right, so how do I entertain you guys for another 10 minutes? Um, oh, all right, we'll get some music back on. It's not my fault. So, you know, Kurobi says you've been, I guess, out of it for a little bit. I don't know how much you've been keeping up with the scene, but apparently I killed this game. Like, I killed yeah. it. And, and this is evidence of, of me killing the game. We have this big exhibition lined up and nobody can get in. 
Yeah, I mean, that's that's typical when you try to run something big online. Like, everything that can go wrong goes wrong. Yeah. Well, yeah, Mark, I've been, uh, I've yeah. been out of, I've been out of loop for, for a while. For <laughs> like, I don't know, five years or more. Um, but I, I do know that you have been doing a lot of stuff. So that was been cool to see that you're running all these events and everything. Yeah, well, what, what, uh, what got you out of it? I'm, I'm curious because you were, you know, like when I started, you were one of the ones, the one of the titans making sure that events were happening around the country, organized. I got my TOL1 poster signed <laughs> hanging on this wall. I'm looking at it right here. So what happened? That's a big... Awesome. Uh, um, yeah, I, yeah, I, I got burned out. Plus I was, you know, it was a lot of work doing all this stuff. So I, uh, you know, I do, uh, just focus on, uh, you know, other stuff, family and career and everything. That's, that's here. basically Well, hopefully we get you back in in some way. I mean, we got you back for this, and that's cool. That's pretty hype. Only Yoga Boy can do that. Only Yoga Boy can bring all these players together. But uh, yeah, maybe in the form as a competitor or a commentator, or you know, dropping some lore. It'd be nice to to hear some of those stories from you. In fact, aren't you in possession of some of the the first North American, like first American two X tournament? In San Diego, was it? Uh, the first tournament that was that was in that was in San Diego. I don't have video of that, but I do. I do uh, vaguely remember that way, way, way back. Because I believe it was on. Um, yeah, they 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 were testing ST here. In the in America, at uh, in San Diego at the old uh, Yolbrick Road Arcade. If some people might have heard that name out there before, yeah. Um, yeah, and I believe yeah they did run a tournament on on that version. It, it was it was a test version at first. Well, yeah, it might have been the same one that they used at that uh, that post uh, New Challengers tournament. Where they had like uh you know where you get that little that burst after you went around with a special move it's like the same as winning with a super um mm -hmm. but I, I don't know maybe it's on your youtube channel you, you have this like some some tournament and i think you have the original vhs to that as well i might be wrong but um no it's it's not from that tournament but okay. um i have I have an old tournament. It was a, uh, it was like this tournament we went up to at UCLA. Yeah, that, um, that's the one. Yeah, UCLA, that's the one. Yeah, that's. Yeah, and then uh, it's funny because uh, I'm trying to find the uh, I'm trying to find the. Oh, here it is. So I guess your uh, it's, it's it's your buddy uh, Kevin. Yes. Yeah, because he emailed me about that footage. So I I don't know if you you, you is that's kind of what you're talking about. Yes, I am, and I I guess we don't have to give up give away too much information, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that because that's gonna be huge, and I want to definitely cover that in some type of way, you know, with the story and drop some commentary but yeah it's super cool that you're basically in possession of some of the earliest footage that we have for this game 30 years ago kind of insane yeah i actually i actually have it I, i've had it online for a while it's on it's on youtube yeah 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 um, I, I figured it was on your channel but i but having it in that restored right. condition yeah and and any other you know things that you're you're kind of like sitting on you're like, all right, you know what? Let's go ahead and share this with the world. I think that'll be cool. Oh, I wish. I wish I had. I wish I had more video from back then. Yeah. Crazy time, right? It's because you can't imagine like everything gets recorded like <laughs> ten thousand times every time something happens. But 
you know, back then, like, nobody had cameras or anything. Yeah, back then it was a luxury to have. Now we have iPhones that, that record in pretty damn good quality and very easy to hold compared to a camcorder. Um, jumpsuit, Mars is Aphrodia. I already pinged both y'all and Ficate. I'm in there, so I think I'll be able to spectate. And we're basically ready to get the show on the road. So remember, if you're a Zoolander or a Zass, if you're any of those two people, be on standby because one of you guys got next. Um, and again, when you get in your game, just like, just wait a quick sec. Don't get into it right away, just so I can spectate it on time. This is only a FT1. And good luck, and may the best team win. Basically, play with your hearts, y'all. This is the 30th anniversary of this game. Just do your best. That is all I can ask. I see people are getting in game, which is good. Just haven't seen uh haven't seen these dudes get in yet. Yeah, next time I'm in SoCal, I'll, I'll hit you up too. I'm gonna try to get you out what? for for something. You, I, I heard you you were in California. Are you still in California? I sure am. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, a lot. What made you move out here? That's life stuff. Um, all right, here we go. Here we go. I told them not to go yet. So on Discord, if you look, there's going to be a button that says, like, watch my stream. You can watch it. Um, yeah, let's go for it. So it's already up right now. Player 1, Jumpsuit. Player 2, Mars. A fun match here. Gal, Gal Thalon. I like this match. Um, Gal obviously got the edge. Nice anti here with that stand strong. Getting a two-hit combo. Crouch Fierce is going to whiff punish that low forward. Jumpsuit looking like he missed the wreck of 10 kick. The wreck of pressure, but Mars fighting out of the corner. Super's not going to work out. Gets hit with the wreck. It's a good round here for uh, Jumpsuit. If he can close it out, one oh. more hit. Doesn't get it. Stands oh, he missed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good with the anti -airs. All right. No throw break there, but Somersault is going to get a cross up. Nice block. And I got the whole screen to work with. That's the benefit of using Gal's cross up. Even if it doesn't hit, you push yourself a whole screen away. Baylon got to struggle to get in. And this might be the round. This might be the game. It is the game. All right, Mars, you stay on. You're going to have to fight Zass. So, Zass, thank you, Yoga Boy, for calling that. Were you able to find it on Discord? Where I streamed it to you. Trophy. I'm sorry, what's that? Were you able to find when I when I shared my screen on Discord, you saw it there? In the uh in the server or on the, yeah, yes. the message? No, so on the server, like in, in our voice chat that we're in. Yeah, yeah. When I share my screen, you'll see like if you click my name, I think. There'll be something that says like watch watch screen and that's gonna be the fight kid match. So I'm gonna so when the next one pops up, I'll load it and you'll see it there. And that's kind of how we're gonna have to do it. But if you're in fight kid and you have the ROM set up and everything and you just wanted to spectate at the same time you can. Um I think this will probably be easier. So up next we got Zass versus Mars. So that's going to be Chun Li versus Guile, which I think is one of Mars' strong matches. Um, so he's he's probably not going to. I mean, I'm not getting out Zass, but Mars just has a lot of practice against technical monkeys. So I feel like something he's going to be comfortable in. Yeah. Unless uh, maybe Zass plays a little bit different, might, might throw him off. Oh, am I quiet compared to Kropi? My bad. I should probably just talk louder or go closer to the mic. Yeah, you know Zass a long time, right? Yeah, first time I met Zass, I believe. Uh, I believe it was in. Um, man, <laughs> all this is getting so fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it was in uh, Vegas, like. For an ST tournament, like way, 
way back in ninety four. Yeah, that was, yeah, it was it was kind of close after uh, ST was released. Yeah, yeah. So from the beginning. Back. So from the beginning. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. He's been playing that long. I mean, it's insane that like even to this day, the the players that have been playing from the beginning are still pretty darn active right now some as players and some you know in other in other forms but i think that's the beauty of 2x is like the top players of the then are still the top players of the now and you're not going to see that in like a physical sport you know people retire after a certain amount of years but in fighting games we we haven't really seen that yet especially in 2x which is really the most competitive fighting game the longest surviving fighting game you know, right. of, of of the genre, right? Like, uh, just, just of all time. So I think that that's cool, and it really, like, leads to, um, you know, good potential for what the future holds. I mean, tonight, since... I don't know if you've been keeping up, but tonight in Japan, they're going to be doing um, a special event. A, uh, I think they're going to have around 80 players um, for their East-West battle, and in addition to that, they're doing a uh, um, an exhibition set between Yaya Sagat and Kuru Vega, who plays Vega Dictator. Kuru Vega is a high schooler, kids like 16, 17, but uh, he's an up and coming player, and you know he has to fight Yaya, who's in a Daigo, uh, the Daigo manga. So that's <laughs> like, yeah, that that's pretty cool. Yeah, actually, I'm not familiar with, uh... yeah, him. I mean, I know Yaya, yeah, but that that's pretty cool to see, uh, like next generation coming up. Yeah, Crew Vega is sick. He um he he entered Excess uh, this past New Year's Eve ish with <laughs> Mal and um, I forget who the third person was on the team. And they got like fourth place. Um, so you know his first offline tournament, getting to a uh, a top eight there with a dictator who's, you know, not a super winning character, but obviously a good team character and, uh, you know, team up with Mao. He was, he was able to, I mean, that's, that's had a pretty impressive run. Um, he had a close match with Matsun, but Matsun eventually clutched it out. It's just going to take some time, you know, like experience still trumps all like you can be young and, and be good at this game, but the experience, it, it, at a certain point, like the matchup chart doesn't matter. It's just going to be like your your brain power and that you know the experience of guys like Matson. That's going to trump a lot of uh, a lot of that. But um, I don't know what's going on with Zass. Zass isn't responding. Should we just skip him for now? You go to Mongolo Robocop. Yoga boy, make it happen. But uh. Yeah, that event's actually going to be tonight, and I will do a restream. Depending on what time uh, this gets done, and you know, I got to mentally prepare. So I, you know, I do a lot of these restreams where I, where I'm up pretty late, <laughs> and uh, I try to wake up early so I can be productive. So we'll see, but I'll definitely do the um, exhibition for sure because you know, Sagat Vega, like Yaya's training partner is Tyra, and um, you know, Tyra obviously was like one of the best of that time. They were sparring partners, and uh, Kuru Vega uses that color, so it's almost like an homage to him. Since Ty Tyra is no longer an active player, so it'll almost be like Yaya just sparring once again with you know his old sparring partner. But this kid is like a, like around seventeen, probably at this point. Um, it's crazy, but. All right, here we go. I think we're going to get Mongolo Robocop and Mars up next. So either way, we get ourselves a Chun. Right. Um, <laughs> I just noticed on the poster, uh, Yoga Boy had uh, had Dictator. Um, yeah, he, he said he got him confused with the Zaz Zaz Spacer. Yeah, I mean, all of us. Just like uh, the, uh, Sabin and Saber. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right, here we go. So I'm gonna share my screen in a sec. Let me just get this match up. I think Zass did play Dictator. Maybe. Um, he, he plays a lot of characters. Alright, so if you click my name, like on the Rizwan stream thing, you'll see the video pop out. 
just watch it and, and you'll see the match. But here we go. So Mars against Magolo Robocop. So we got ourselves some some Biggie versus Tupac here. East Coast, West Coast. Like I said, Mars. Oh no, but taking a full throw. Magolo Robocop. And lightning legs. Got the super as well, so. Nice trade with the Sobot kick. Jump roundhouse. 50 50 time. That throw. Oh, mm. no throw though. Riz Zero Naboom versus Ready for that. Riz Zero Nafong. Yo, thank you, Norman. Another effective tool in this match, the Sonic Somersault, because Chun's jump is so floaty. We might see it, but so far we're going fireball for fireball, so no no Sonic Summers yet. Gets a sack throw instead. Now Mars is gonna kinda chill. Although the Robocop has not found a big enough opening yet. Now we got the corner. This is big. Back up. That's it. That's it. Jump light kick throw. I know why Mars go first. He just wanted to take out the whole team. No, that's not why. He he didn't want to play. He said, I'll only play if I get to go first. So I guess we're going to get Mars versus Immortal. Mars versus Immortal. My SBO partner, Immortal, plays Balrog. Haven't seen him play in a long time, but uh, back in his heyday, he was definitely entering a lot more of those Midwest tournaments and winning pretty much all of them. That's back when it was uh, Ganelon and uh, Immortal were our premier Balrog players. Yeah. Ganelon, yeah. I wonder, I wonder what he's doing. So Ganelon, funny story. This was maybe 2019, and I was at I was at NCR. Was it 2019, 2018? I forget what year. And I'm at NCR, and Ultra Combo's like, "Yo, is that Ganelon?" <laughs> I'm like, "Wait, what?" So I walk up to him. I'm like, "What are you doing here?" And he's like, "Oh, I don't know. I'm just randomly in town." So. I'm entering this <laughs> tournament. Yeah. So that might have been the last time I saw him in person. Um, wow. But yeah, it was just super random. I think like he got married and he just happened to be in town. So uh, mm -hmm. he played in that. But um, yeah, Ganelon's one of those dudes. I remember in your, uh, maybe it was in your Salty Suite where he fought a uh, paper cut in the FT5. I got to see yeah. that's on YouTube. It was a good set. That was, that was a great set. All right, I'm going to share this match to you. Yeah, that's salty sweet. Oh man, so many crazy matches. Yeah, good times. All right, Mars spamming some coins. Are we ever gonna get out of this stage? Um, and, I, and I gotta give a shout out to Immortal for using the the CE color. Close to stun here though. Doesn't get stunned. Number soul. Damn, Immortal. I haven't seen him play in a long time. Yeah, I see. Oh, no anti air. That should be it. Sonic Sonic? Yeah. Even better. Nice anti air sweep. Didn't fall for the faint there on the heel ball. And now Mars looking good. Almost. Oh no. He got knocked down. Another. Wow, look at it, Dave. That was oh, just. Wow. Two hits and he took the lead off of that? <laughs> How do you take the life lead like that? Oh, he went for that. did a lot of damage. Uh oh. Can we block it? He escapes with the terror. It worked out, but now we're in the corner and. No terror! And there it goes, Ooh. but. Gotta grab that of it. Alright. Um, if Zass is not yet back, then we're going to go to Digital Infamy. Digital Infamy. Digital Infamy I got to run into back in... Was it 37 Reloaded? I forgot what month it was. What month was that, guys? Was that July? August? I don't remember. But uh, 
He was the only person I played in 2X that whole weekend. Like, I had a couple of minutes. I think I got in early one day, and he was around. I was like, Yo, you want to play some games? So we played, like, 20 games, and that was it. <laughs> he still got it, though. His uh, Bison, Rue, strong, car- uh, strong player, obviously. Plays some uh, hyper fighting as well. He's one, he's one of the good dudes, fellas. Yeah, I think this is a run back from uh, the team tournament where Digital Infamy took it over Mars, Reno, and Zoolander, I believe, was was the team. TOL2. Um, <laughs> you got a good memory. <laughs> I mean, I, I need a, I need, I might be wrong, but I mean, I need to have a good memory when it comes to this stuff because it's like most of what I do now is tell the story about the games. I can't play. I got to fill my brain with. With, right. You know, with the stories versus the knowledge of like how to do stuff. <laughs> the yoga, vo- yoga voice saying this is a run back from TOL to digital prevented Mars from making top eight. There you go. Right, let me get this up for you as well. So, yep, it's going to be Guile Bison. And um, Let's see if Mars starts with the Crouching Strong round opener. That's my go-to opener. Crouch Strong delay Sonic Boom. He just jumps back. Doesn't want to deal with the mix-up. I respect it, but now we're cornered. So you trade the early round safety to put yourself in a corner. Good trade for Mars. He gets a knockdown. Did it alone for me. Doesn't jump over that boom. And now we have Crazy on deck. Takes a grab. Nice mix-up. Oh no! Nice, and is it enough? It is enough. Check it out. Yo, what up, UFO? There's some cool emotes you got there. Somersault. Nice option select, basically. You either get a boom or you get the backhand. Yeah, definitely wasn't a safe jump. He was off by a hair. Nice fierce anti-air. <laughs> no escape out of that one. What's up, Roman? Oh, missed the anti-air there, but no harm done. Bison with that low forward. Gary character. Yeah, so good. Yeah, low forward. That's pretty much his uh, reset button. Yeah, that, yeah, that's saving him right now. Oh, but he spent the cash. Ooh. Meters everything in this match. So Mars, you know, he doesn't have to worry about crazy for a while. Nice whiff punish on a San Fierce. And got the trade. Low oh. forward again. Right, so Zoolander nowhere to be found. That means we're gonna get Psycho Chronic. I guess Digital Infamy. Psycho Infamy Digital Chronic. I don't think Zoolander's in the building. Save me from the mirror. Climax, you usually win that, don't you? Climax winning all the, the Philly tournaments. I see you with all your medals, Climax. You're like Kurt Angle out there. <laughs> zoo is at the zoo. Yeah, so we're going to get Psychochronic, our first representation from Canada. And Psychochronic plays a few characters. He might go Phalong, might go Chun. Not sure, but whoever you start with is who you end with. The poster says you're a Chun player, so we shall see. He also had a pretty strong showing at last year's Frosty. Ended up getting a second to uh, Jack Chuff. That was a good match. Looks like Psycho Chronic's on AFK. Are you there, Psycho Chronic? (laughs) <laughs> I 
doing climax. Okay, so I guess we're doing mirrors. All right, I guess that's what we're doing. So we're gonna do the good old mirror match: Digital Infamy versus Climax, the Battle of the Bisons. Just flex on Man. them with your medals, Climax. You got this. <laughs> What's your least favorite mirror to watch? Um, I'd say Blanca Blanca might be pretty boring. Um, Honda Honda is pretty stupid. Yeah, those are bad. <laughs> yeah, but boring. Um, I just least favorite. I guess least favorite. I mean, the Bipson mirror is pretty stupid as well, but I enjoy it. It's therapeutic, but uh, <laughs> but it's also a really stupid match. Oh, uh, you know what? The Marvel match, the Balrog mirror, claw claw. That's mm -hmm. that's just Marvel. We're not even watching two X at that point. But here we go. The with the the green is gonna be climax, and then green gloves is infamy. How did Zillow Infamy get super so fast? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, he got the hover hand! Thing got grabbed. Oh, there goes Zoolander. Yeah, low, strong, sand, fierce are pretty much the two buttons that you really need in this match. There goes a little frame trap. Nice block, safe with the jab headbutt. Here we go. Climax is the setup. A little too high and doesn't get the stun combo. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I think he just came up with new tech. You know, oh, 30 years? <laughs> 30 years? Let me come up with some new tech. Yeah, let's let's throw Zoolander back in. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Zoolander plays when... Yeah, Zoolander can play now. Yeah, so... Bison, bison, once you do the grab, hold up toward, do jump, light kick, or light punch, whatever, into low jab. And uh, you can frame trap. You either go for the grab or you go for low, strong, low rush. If they crouch attack or reversal throw, your low, strong, low rush will beat it. That's pretty much one of the go-tos. If, if you want to understand the match, just watch Tamashima versus Daigo, the time that they played. Or watch Afro Legends versus Daigo. That's, that's pretty much all you need to know for that match. Because Daigo dumps it down to, like, just the minimal effort that's required. Just grab or low, strong, low rush. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Because it's effective. You don't gotta, you don't gotta mix stuff up. All right, so Kyoya. So now we have um, Kyoya right. from Mexico. Um, he also had a pretty strong showing at last year's XSB 2022, getting a top eight finish along with Gito and Hokuto, who eventually won it. So they went to France and really showed up representing their region. Um, you know, all three visitors made top eight. That's, that's pretty hype. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah I, I did not know that. Well, now you know the lore, but uh, yeah, he's also a fellow. I gotta, I gotta uh, catch up on everything. <laughs> All you gotta do is probably watch the streams that that we do here. You'll you'll get caught up. <laughs> so I try to cover everything. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah. I gotta do that. I'll let you do all the uh, the work. <laughs> yeah, I just well, absorb. No, nah, no. Nah, I mean, honestly, like I'm lucky to have the people who I have to help with the online portion of stuff as well as offline because I get it. It's hard. Like I, I got burnt out my second year doing this stuff and I was like, this is too much. Um, it's hard to find a balance because if you're someone that doesn't know your limit, you know, you're, you're just going to keep going until like you won't even realize you're getting burnt out. So I, I completely hear you because what you did was like unprecedented, right? We're going to do, you know, 20 tournaments around the country and the people that qualify will, you know, get on this poster and then we're going to do invitationals and then we're going to do player's choice. And then you had ST Revival, you're doing interviews, you're compiling videos. That, that's a lot, man. <laughs> like even today, yeah, even today, you think about like with all the resources we have, if you wanted to do it over, like it, it's not much easier. <laughs> 
it's probably harder to organize that kind of stuff now. Um, so yeah, no, big shout outs to you. And I mean, like, so now we have um, the Jazzy Circuit, which it's like it's very similar to what Tournament of Legends was, and you know they're still going, right? Like they're going out for their fifth season. I don't know. I don't know if we can owe some of the credit to the successes of of TOL, like what you and your crew were doing way back when, but they're still keeping it strong. Even during the pandemic, they kept it alive, and it's it's just insane. Like major props to to those that work behind the scenes and and make these type of things happen. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I had a lot of people helping me too. So yeah, I see Eugene in the chat. Yeah, Eugene. Eugene was a big help. Got to see Eugene. What was it? A month ago, I was down at uh, Don's, and I was like, Eugene, next time I see you, I'm gonna give you a big hug, and I delivered on that promise. It was nice seeing you there, even though it was only for a couple of minutes. Um, yeah, it was chill. Wait, who are we waiting for now? Did uh did it freeze again or oh shoot. All right, so Fightcade froze again. <laughs> I just exited. I'm gonna connect back. Yeah, it wasn't only digital. So everyone, exit Fightcade and connect back. Sorry guys. <laughs> Is it just glitching out tonight? Yes. Or yes. Okay. <laughs> of course, right. Yeah, that's the classic. I don't know. Well, I guess Loraldo. I haven't really been on Fightcade like that, like as frequent lately. Um, but yeah, you, yeah. If your chat's not moving and if you can't click stuff, then yeah, just exit and connect back. The mine is initializing, but um, yeah, get in there. Climax. Which which poster do you need signatures on? Let me know. Justin Wong, Valle, for which poster? We'll we'll make it happen. <laughs> is he talking about the TOL poster? Yeah, maybe he was. Yeah, uh, yeah. There were some players. It was really hard to get them to sign. They didn't want to sign like fifty posters. Yeah, it's hard. You get a little cramp, and then it impacts your tournament play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, uh, Valle, I don't know if you're aware, but yo, Theo. Yeah, no, thank you. Genesis was a blast. But uh, speaking of Valle, um, just some news that you might have missed. Uh, he entered a team tournament with uh, Murasaki Vega and Ultra Combo. This was at Canada Cup. And they ended up winning the tournament, beating... Actually, Valle beat Nuki's team, so that was huge. Defeating Nuki, getting him out of there. But um, they ended up beating Matsun, Damdai, Afro Legends. So that's pretty hype that Valle still got a first place team win. It was a pretty sack tournament at a Canada Cup. Uh, maybe, f where was I? At the, I think I was still living in New York, was I? I don't remember. But it was a pretty recent tournament. And uh, there you go, 2018. 2018 um, yeah. yeah, so that that's good stuff. And Valle was uh, actually asked, I think the day of maybe, or sometime there, like, yo, you want to team up? And he's like, all right, I'm down. Um, cause originally I was going to be on the team, but I couldn't make it. So it's like, sorry guys, you're on your own Murasaki and ultra combo. Sorry guys. Cause we were going to be team Thailand, but, uh, but it worked out because that, uh, that top three was basically the, uh, reuse ending top three. <laughs> oh yeah. He's asking about the, the the, the stick, why well, everyone called it curl stick. So I have that. And then, um, yeah, someone was asking earlier. Oh, I think it was Yoga Boy. The, uh, I had um, Cigar Bob's old cab that I got from him. And so I gave that to uh, Carl Sergiev. So, yeah, he has the, the uh, curl cab now. Called the, the Surge cab. I'm going to have to take that one back. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need to collect it or at least go in and get some pictures of it or, or something if he's in SoCal. Um, 
Well, anyhow, I'm back so we can get the next match. Was it Kyoya and who was it? This is hard to run because 5K is not working. <laughs> Omoda Orphan Makati. Who beat that team? Psycho Rarity. Oh, you know what? Valle's team won that too. Yeah, because I remember Murasaki made that crazy comeback of Komoda. What's up, Roy Bizzle? Our Street Fighter 2 World Warrior Tournament Champion. We did a World Warrior Tournament. Um, what was that? That was three years ago? Yeah, three years ago, around Valentine's Day. Get a random uh, World Warrior Tournament. Roy Bizzle ended up winning. Yeah, the COVID times, we did a lot of, a lot of different games. But yeah, I'm back. Yeah. So I think we're getting Air Throw and Infamy. Oh, Psychochronics here too, Yoga Boy. What's up, Jollies? I remember the time Jollies was visiting New York. And uh, who did I go with? It was a winter time. It was cold, I remember. And he was there. And I, I popped in for a little bit. I actually had class. I had a life drawing class around 6 p.m. that night. So I was in between classes. From college, get back. So I went to Chinatown Fair, and it was Jolly's, Green Tea, maybe Tech Monkey, and like one other player. And uh, I mean, you guys can say my memory was bad, but I ended up winning pretty much every game. And then I was like, "Sorry, guys, I gotta head to class with my big ass life drawing book." Like, um, we have those big pads. It's like a I forget the size of it. They were huge, but uh, yeah, I was like, "Shoot, I gotta rush for this uh this class." <laughs> So now you guys have to believe that I was just on a crazy win streak that I could have kept going much longer, but I needed to run. It's over Psycho in the meantime. I don't see them. I don't see them in yet, but. <laughs> now, life drawing is cool. Um. I'm not pretty, I'm not particularly good at drawing, but it helped me learn a little bit about anatomy, maybe a little too much. Um, but here we go, psychochronic and digital infamy. Oh, so Jolly's remembers. Therefore, it's true lore now. There you go. <laughs> that was that was my training round. I played on American. All right, I'm sharing the match with you on Discord. So here we go. Some top tier action here. Psychochronic Chun, Digital Infamy, M. Bison. Ooh. Actually, this is a tough match for Bison. I mean, Chun, Chun definitely has good buttons to keep out. So far, ah, Digital not able to clear that Kokin, and now you gotta deal with this stuff. That's two. Got the guard and a reversal throw. There he is. Keeps missing that. Or it's super. Oh, nice jump over. That was tricky. He ate the super input, and uh, and for me, ended up getting a dash straight instead of a super there. Another reversal throw after seeing strong. Bring out the dirt. Good trade with the ground. Gotta be careful with those uh, safe jumps on Chun. She has Tensho. Oh, very nice. Ash up for Crazy Buffalo. And now we're at round three here. Like, Digital is not really going in yet. He's trying to find a way to build some bar. But now he's going in. Oh, got punched in the face. For super, got blown up. Now digital, oh no. Now we're in there. 
No Tensho. Got the mix up with the headbutt. That should be it. Yep. Alright, so now it's Infamy versus. Are we going back to Zoolander? Is Zoolander in? Or are we skipping Zoolander and just going to Kyoya? <laughs> All right, let's get Zoolander and uh, and Digital Infamy. So just a little bit more, Lord, since you've been out of the game for a bit. Zoolander still is not able to do MGU combos, but he might attempt them. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Zoolander and I, we were playing a bunch of Street Fighter V when it came out, and then uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know if he's still playing Five or if he's playing Tekken, but yeah. Tekken, really? Land that MGU, please. Yeah, told Tekken 8, man. Slide, slide, super incoming. Dinky Flicks knows. <laughs> What's up, Sprite? How about Tekken 8? I haven't played Tekken 8 yet. Actually, I think the last Tekken I played was uh, Tekken Tag 2. That was it. What's up, Bort? Yeah, I'm glad all of us could celebrate this 30th together. Yeah, Zoolander, go, go. Zoolander versus Infamy. I like Tekken Tag, too, because of the uh, the final boss theme. I forgot the name of it. The uh, And then it goes all dark and stuff. That was one of the better... One of the It, it was dubstep music or whatever, but um, it was their best song in a while, I feel like. Tekken music isn't what it used to be. All right, I got the match loaded up for you. So DJ Bison. Uh, there was a pretty big FT10 that happened between Kenshiro Bison and Afro Legends in Japan. They did a FT10 Komodo Michi and Kenshiro kind of like, kind of beat him pretty bad. So it was tough to watch, but um, I don't know. I think DJ does well in this fight. Low jab in particular is pretty decent. You know, Bison got to be careful of those uh, those headbutts because they can get punished pretty hard. Like that one right there. Could have got punished with low jab, low jab, jackknife, go to a cross up. That'll be all she wrote. Nice. Got the headbutt. Slide, slide. Yeah, Kenshiro the champ. Nice. He needed that. Here we go. What's it going to be? Misses the cross yeah, up. It's going to be a miss. Oh, no. Still alive, though. Good guard. Good guard on that. Let's try to take it to a round three. Infamy's got the bar. Oh no! Baited it! And that should not be it. Yeah, there goes the low jabs I was talking about. Guaranteed, almost. You might as well mash it because you're completely safe doing that. So if you're a DJ player and you're fighting Bison, always mash low jab. He's the only character in the game that can interrupt it like that. <laughs> For some reason. His hard box is just thinner. And then if you're ready, you can actually combo into Jackknife. So, you know, DJ can actually chain cancel off crouching moves without having to stand using two low jabs. Whereas other characters, you actually need to render cancel. So, Yeah, I love all these, uh, those little things like that where like one character can do like a certain thing in a specific situation. And what makes ST so interesting? Yeah, the game, as, as figured out as it is, like, there's still room for, like, more of that nuanced stuff. Like, I think, for the most part, the matchups are figured out. But all we could do now is improve our reactions, improve our setups. Like, here's how I'm going to get the perfect save jump every time. Or here's how I'm going to improve that cross-up timing or meter management. It's, like, more, like, smaller details. But, I mean, it's, it's forever going to be the most competitive game. Um but yeah, thank you for playing Zoo, and yeah, we should definitely play more.
There was also a match. Uh, it was a FT five between. Um, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Why am I drawing a blank right now? It'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. I can't remember right now. But it was a Bison DJ. Was it? Oh, I'm about to look it up. I can't not know this. It's kind of annoying. But uh, it was FT5 and... It'll come back to me, I promise. There's too much to think about right now. <laughs> All right, do we have our next match? Not yet. I think we're finally going to get uh, Kyoya in the mix. Afro versus Jimmy Bones had a good match. I think Afro ended up taking that one. It was um, it was a uh, Nashka. Nashka and Nikaiten, they fought. That's right. And Makiri, he he recorded it. So they did an FT5. And she ended up winning. An official FT5 match. So that's another occurrence of DJ beating Bison. I think the match is kind of okay for him. I think it's kind of decent. What's going on now? Kyoya. All right, Kyoya and Infamy can't connect. So maybe we should move to the next match. Infamy stay or uh, come back. Sorry, Kyoya stay on standby. Yeah, Zoolander. I say any character that can fight DJ is better than most of the matches where a lot of characters get deleted. Or sorry, not DJ, Bison. A lot of characters actually get deleted by Bison. Like Cami, Blanca, good luck fighting that character. But... Yeah, if you can kind of put up a fight, then all of the the random stuff, like just, you know, using random headbutt or, uh, you know, burning the meter and losing any potential comeback factor, makes it pretty rough. So, you know, the other character gets a chance. Oh, Liga, Brazil. Thank you, guys. I only use Japanese names, but it's always been that way. Unless it's Champion Edition, then I don't use Japanese names because <laughs> Dash never came out to me. It's just Champion Edition. So in that game, Bison is the one with the Psycho Crusher. <laughs> and it's not Super Turbo, it's 2X. But it's not two X, <laughs> but it's not two X KO because that's a whole other game. Are you aware of that, by the way, Karopi? What's do, that? Do you know where Project L is? Yeah, I've I've heard of it. Okay, well, did you hear of its new name as of yesterday? No, I did not. The new name for Project L, the official new name is two X KO. Two X KO. Yeah, which is going to be two X for short, right? So. Anyway, uh, I wonder what's the meaning behind that. I think it's because you play two characters, so it's like a double KO, like two times a KO. Okay. So, two X KO. It's gonna be like a like a two v two. So. Yeah, that that's gonna make it confusing. Oh yeah. <laughs> People talking about two X. But I, but I think it makes sense, right? Because. The Street Fighter 2 game titles are just as confusing as, like, the Michael Myers movie franchise. The amount of reboots and Roman numerals and everything that they had to do. Super confusing. I think Street Fighter 2 Turbo, the new Challengers X, pretty much the same thing, right? It's very... <laughs> Our timeline is super confusing. People will be like, yeah, I play Turbo, and then we don't know if they're talking about ST or if they're talking about, like, Super Nintendo Turbo and... You know, it's just kind of always been that way. So 2XKO, I think it's funny. Um, it, it, it's almost like it makes sense because in classic Street Fighter, our names are always confusing as is. Um, the latest, a hot take, the latest movie in the new Michael Myers trilogy was so bad. I don't think that's a hot take, but I also never saw it. But I'm pretty sure it was bad. 
<laughs> I saw the first two. I didn't get to watch the third one. Actually, I did watch the third one. I saw all of them. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah. That's ass. Yep, that's me. What's up, Alborghetti? All right. It looks like we're going to get Myung up next. So, Totoro Slayer, if you're on, you're going to fight Digital Infamy? There you go. So, we're going to get some Bison versus Balrog. <laughs> I am not at EQ. It's funny. I have a funny uh, story that Zass told me about EverQuest. Because I used to work on uh, EverQuest. Oh, yeah. Some I don't know if he wants me to... I, I think it's cool to talk about it. I'll, 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 I'll wait and see. <laughs> I, don't know if, I don't know if he remembers. I don't know if he remembers uh, telling me the story about uh, him playing EverQuest. Okay, he doesn't remember. So Zass was in, uh, you know, he, he lived in Japan for a few years. I don't know exactly how many years. And this is when he was uh, playing EQ Hardcore. And so he said, uh, he told me um, he was uh, getting ready to leave Japan and come back. And he looked at his uh, playtime in EQ. And I don't remember the exact uh the numbers that were there, but you know, he said basically he, he, he had like so much uh, play time accumulated, you know, compared to like how long he was in Japan. <laughs> and he said, oh, this is so sad. Like, you know, I should have spent this time, you know, going around and seeing more things and experiencing more. But instead, you know, he was just playing EQ. But, you know, that's, that's that's uh, it's the addiction in games sometimes. Well, I mean, not not that we're addicted to this game at all, right? right? I mean, <laughs> exactly. oh, that, I know. This is definitely not an addiction, but that's that's funny about Zass. I mean, you're gonna be in Japan. I mean, that means you you produce a really good game, I guess. <laughs> One more to be said. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that game had so many people addicted. All right, here we go. So, Digital Infamy. Up against Totoro Slayer, SoCal versus NorCal. Just got to hang out with Totoro Slayer this past weekend. We played at uh, Genesis on Saturday, so about six days ago. Trying to net this comeback here. Third place finish. Moves into Sound Scope and uh, Vodka. Vodka Gabalsi slayed his demon. Right now, Infamy looking to keep the streak alive. Nice, just caught the walk up. And this is, yeah, this is where the match goes right here. One chance for Myung, doesn't get it. That was a quick match. I think getting connected took longer than that match itself. Um, all right, who's up next? Air throw versus digital. Air throw, I'm expecting to see some air throws. Please do not disappoint. Yo, what's up, Nate? <laughs> oh, man. What up, Eric Turbo? <laughs> it is old folks home in here. This is what we do on a Friday night at 7-Eleven, but not physically at a 7-Eleven, just at 7-Eleven p.m. out here doing 2X. Ain't nothing changed. Well, what's up, Nate? When are we going to hang out again? Sad I couldn't see you at Genesis. <laughs> Wait, who said that, Eugene? Oh, man. Nate, we got to talk. Call me, we chat. 
<laughs> You're blocking my shot, Zoo. You know what, Nate? I actually ended up recently watching. It just suddenly showed up on my feed. I watched our uh, new Challengers match on the Genesis. So, funny story. We were at um the Free Play 24-hour charity event um, in uh, Dallas. I think it was Richardson. And um, they were doing a number of different tournaments. There was a big blue tournament, and then there was a, uh, uh, you know, the regular, like, Japanese candy cap tournament. And then there was a, a Street Fighter the movie on the Saturn tournament. And then there was uh, the new challengers on Genesis. Uh, three buttons. So you had to press start to, you know, alternate between punches and kicks. And Nate and I, we fought in grand finals. And uh, he ended up beating me. Um, yo, first Friday Funk, thanks. So he ended up beating me. And uh, he won the prize. The grand prize was one year's uh, one year supply of uh, Mr. Brown coffee. Hope you put that yeah. coffee to good use. But uh, that's a cool prize for a tournament. Year supply of coffee. That's dope. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, the the funniest moment of that tournament was the uh, the I lied moment. So, <laughs> we were we were just talking smack to each other in in the middle of the bracket. Yeah, there he goes. I lied. So <laughs> so I was just like, oh man, I'm not I'm not even gonna uppercut. I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna use tiger like low tiger shots and anti air sweep or something all day. Like I I can't alternate. And then. Like, we're talking in the middle of the match, and then he jumps, and I'm like, I press start, I do the uppercut, I'm like, I lied! <laughs> and actually, it's hard. It's hard to to play six buttons on a three-button game. But he played uh, Boxer, he played Bison, and uh, it was a perfect counter pick on me. I was just like, shoot, I don't know what to do. I was like, I lied! <laughs> Who wants Street Fighter the movie? I think it was one of the local Texas players, and maybe Miller time got, like, second or third her first time playing... Um, I'm pretty sure it was one of the Texas locals. She might have even gotten grand finals. Um, and then in the big blue tournament, there was like, uh, if you use Cammy and you win a match, you get a prize. And I know L Trouble, he tried. He picked Cammy, ended up losing uh, one of the games. He goes, I right, shoot, I got to switch back to Sim and win the set. Um, I think the big blue and the, the regular one, I think I ended up winning both of those. But yeah, Street Fighter the movie, I just got washed. And then... The uh, the console one, yeah, Eugene. So the the prize for winning with Cami would have been one of those uh, not those bobbleheads. What are those things called? The the little things with the they got the big head. What the hell is it? The go go funk pops. I don't know. I forget what they're called. Funko pop. There you go. Yeah. So the prize was one of those. If you win a set with Cami, yeah. So that was the the prize. You probably eventually ended up getting it somewhere later in the tournament, but uh, anyway, that's the lore on that. So now you guys know. Yeah, jinx on everyone. You guys can't chat for ten minutes. Oh shoot, they're in the match. My bad. Kyoya and Digital Infamy. Oh, this is gonna be rough because Kyoya actually ended up defeating in tournament when he went to XSB. Uh, France's strongest bison player, uh, Bazooka. Pretty convincing, I might add. It might have been a 3-1. I forget, but the rounds that he won, they were pretty convincing. So I'm kind of interested in seeing how this goes because beating Bazooka is not easy, <laughs> obviously. 2-0 um, or 2-1, my bad. It wasn't an FT3. It's an FT2 there. Maybe it was a 2-0, but uh, there were some good matches. I just remember it was at Honda's stage. Here we go now. Kill you against Infamy. Here we go. Safe jump into the grab. Jump light kick, tag him in the corner. Dan jab to punish the double knee against jump light kick. So what Kyoya needs to do right there, Kyoya has to adapt and stop doing the up back in the corner. Just cycle crusher underneath that. So after getting grabbed, cycle crusher. Crouch Fierce worked out. Stan Fierce tags that back jump. Again, this time he guards. Ooh, that's ugly. Nah, let's run that back. That was disgusting. <laughs> that was actually disgusting.
That was some pressure. Yo, can we put Mars back in? <laughs> Damn. Zass, Milo, I don't think Milo still plays, but uh, I haven't talked to him much recently. Man, that shout, boy, shout he, that he's boy. probably playing Street Fighter 6. The fat boy is cool people. Fat boy is like the coolest dude. He has his own page in the uh, Terminal Legends 1 guide. Where he talks about the catchphrases, I think. It was like, yo, when in doubt, like, if you don't know what to say, just say it's Marvel, baby. <laughs> I'll get <give> people hype. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. He did a lot of the commentary for uh, TOL1 as well. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely one of the good guys. But here we go. Uh, sharing it with you on Discord. We got Aerothrow DBT2. Looks like he made a new uh, alias against uh, Digital Infamy. Somebody's got to take out Infamy. Here we go. Got the knee bash. Keep him at bay. Yeah, DBT, don't blow this. That's another OG crew. Wow, just Jimonji just getting all the damage with that. And Digital Infamy is going to want to use that super. Actually goes for the early, the early save jump. Can't save jump Ken. So he went for something early, trying to bait a DP. Good on air throw to hold his ground there. Yeah, DP pushes him out. Nice interrupt. It's alright, it's alright. That's what round three is there for. You get that cushion. Tospin gets him out of the corner, but... Double Dragon. Nah, that overhead's not gonna work. It's kinda slow. Oh boy, that could've been punishable on block. Sweep on block is punishable by, by, by uh, Crazy Buffalo. And right now... That oh. went through? Wow. I didn't think that was gonna connect. Yeah, I didn't think so. And if it did, I thought it was gonna be like the first hit only. But, uh... That was disgusting. All right, who do we got up next? Uh, comeback? Is it time for our comeback now? You're good, comeback. But yeah, Don't Blow This Crew was pretty much the reason like, I was able to improve my offline play and get used to Japanese cabinets. So it was uh, Howard's house. Um, his uh, his gamer tag was Tetsuo-san. You know, we would uh we would ride the train up there to Connecticut pretty much almost every weekend. It felt like just to play two X. At first, it was side by side. Eventually, um, got the the head to head set up, and uh, well, that's how I practiced for the Tournament of Legends or sorry SBO qualifiers. I was like, yo, I can I come through? And I would just go like randomly, even by myself, to take the train to Connecticut just to practice on that because didn't have access to Japanese cabs, and uh. Yeah, I actually spoke with him pretty recently, maybe about a year ago, as well as John Rambo. Like, he's still he's still doing his thing. Um, so these dudes are around and living their lives. But I know eventually some people got to move on from 2X and, and do life things. But it'd be nice to get them back one day. But yeah, John's definitely one of those dudes. One of the early content creators, not just for 2X, but just in general. Um, yeah, those videos are still up on YouTube. If you want to watch some of our early matches, you know, when when everyone used to come down there. That East that was a strong crew, that East Coast crew. All right, who are we gonna get? Oh, crossed. Well, what was the origin for uh, I I never I never heard but for don't blow this. The name. Who made the name? There's probably someone else in the chat that's gonna know, but uh 
I don't know. We had a website too. It was don'tblowthis.com. There were forums and yeah, stuff. Yeah. It must have been um it must have been John Rambo, DSP and and uh, Howard. Yeah, or maybe just Howard. But um yeah, it, don't blow or yeah, don't blow this was was their crew. And uh yeah, then they organized a website. Um Rambo made the the video. I think the logo was actually made by um the logo was made by Real Decoy, if I'm not mistaken. Um But yeah, all trouble. I just mentioned they're they're still around, like I guess not really playing, but I got to catch up with them randomly um a year ago, just like we're just texting each other on the phone. Actually one of the Twitch viewers was like, Hey, if you're in touch with John can you let him know I made this, like, he made this graphic? And I was like, yeah, sure. And somehow I ended up getting Rambo's number, sent it to him. He's like, oh, man, that's so cool. It was like a gif of uh, John Rambo. Um, is the website still actually up? Yeah, that was 2010. That's some lore right there. Thank you for uh, sharing that, Zoo. Is Rambo his real name? Yeah, I think Rambo's his real name, and John he probably took from like a Sylvester Stallone movie or something. Yeah, because that would make sense. Okay, so come back and infamy or cross in infamy. I don't know who. I want to let y'all figure that one out. Oh man. Seen this forum. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, forums in general are crazy. Now everything is on Discord and like, it's whatever. Yeah. It's whatever. There's no, there's no archive or anything now. Well, I did a, I did a podcast a few, maybe it was like two years ago now, uh, with uh, a player from Sunnyvale. Um, he was at the the Bama tournament. And uh, to research his podcast, like for the podcast for his episode, I had to go on Alt SF2 and just read everything. I literally read like everything related to Street Fighter 2 on Alt SF2. Yeah. So I could do his interview. <laughs> Shout out to Insomniac. Um, he's the dude. Yeah, the Alt SF2 days. Yeah, Zat yep, Zass was on there. Yeah, Zass was posting a bunch of random crap on there, I remember. I read all of it. <laughs> so much discussion about the tier list and like I think they they were like, oh, uh new uh new challengers, like they were gonna call it like Street Fighter 3. But uh anyhow, here we go. So come back, I'm gonna go with uh Honda. Um maybe doing a button check here? I don't know. Yeah, come back known a long time as well, just entering those tournaments when I was back on the East Coast. And, uh, you know, he's still doing big things for his scene. I think even today he was running tournaments, so he does a lot of the tournament organizing for his locals as well as, you know, supporting with a lot of the bigger Northeast events. And uh, doesn't get to play much because of all the TO duties, but you'll see him in a lot of brackets nonetheless. Here we go. Got the low jab interrupt, low forward. He's going to get a cross up here. Nice short, short Ooh. headbutt. That's a tight link. That's not easy. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, storage super. Just tap it. Tap it in. <laughs> is that a happy Gilmore? <laughs> yeah, it is. Love it. This match is kind of, like, it's definitely bites in favor, but, like, he has to really respect Honda. Like, he can't just go his hand because, you know, headbutt. Once, once you get knocked down, it can get pretty rough. I like that low jab. 
The double butt Ooh. slam kills the crazy. And this is the match where Shiki made um, that that charge bug where you can hold down but stay standing. He made that popular. So you can actually do a standing headbutt. Yep. Nice bait, but yeah. Funky uh, hitbox, hurtbox collision there, or lack of a collision. Got it. Going around three. There's a rhythm to how you're supposed to press the jabs, and then eventually, when you alternate from the crouch to stand, I guess, I guess you'll just be standing even though you're holding down charge. Someone in the chat will probably be able to better explain that. But that might have been a punish. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Alright, so we're... So into me right now took out about half the team, more than half the team. <laughs> it's a bug, only for uh, him. He's the only character in the game that can do that. I think it's like you do jab and then you crouch and do short and then you hit jab and if you do it at the right rhythm, then you can hold down while the character's standing and then you just hit jab in the proper uh, rhythm to stay standing. Yeah, I remember when After Legends found that out. He was, he was he was doing that all the time. He was, it was one so of the, annoying. Yeah, one of the most technical players. After Legends, his uh, the stuff that he could do, um, his ex his execution is top notch with two characters. It's, it's yeah. hard enough mastering one, but that guy had two of them. In fact, oh man, sorry, I got to bring this up, but in tournament he landed against you, against your Zangief. Maybe it was like cross up roundhouse. And like jab, 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 low fear super or something. He did like this crazy DJ combo on you. Yeah, cross yeah. Up. Sorry, yeah, sorry, you had a second. No, no, no. He, but... he, he, land, he, he can <laughs> land those uh, crazy combos like, you know, like a Japanese player. Yeah. I just remember it happening against you. Maybe it was Ken's stage. I can't picture the stage. It was either Ken's or Chun's. It could be one of those two, unless he did it twice. But, uh, I did it twice. Yeah, it's like a task. That's a task combo, basically. And he landed it. Yeah, DJ gets that weird cross up against like Hawk and Zangi for he can cross up with Roundhouse and Medium Kick. So it becomes pretty hard to block against them. All right, so let's go ahead and do Crossed versus Digital Infamy. And Crossed, you know, obviously one of the top. Probably the top Ken, I'd say, in the U.S. And uh, he had a pretty good showing at uh, the barbecue last year. But he did end up losing to, uh, I think, Hadouken's Bison. Pretty close match. And he must have missed, like, a one-short repa. Like, he went for something hard. Missed it. And uh, it's kind of that. But for a player that doesn't play that much, you watch him and it's like he never, he never stopped playing. Um... And he's been playing mostly X Ken, so we're gonna see, we're gonna see him playing his his uh, main character. We need someone to take out Infamy, so counting on Cross here. Got the safe jump into knee bash. One short DP, I like it. Again, mix ups. Oh, but missed the grab there. I'm gonna wake up throw. I'm telling you, it looks like Cross never stops playing. But that was all tight yeah. execution right there. Yeah, I think he might end the streak here. Missed a knee bounce there, and Infamy got to push a couple punches. But, you know, Bison doesn't have kicks. It's three dragons, though. <laughs> oh, no. Commentator's curse. We got this crossed. Hit him with that TOD real quick. <laughs> Hit him with the TOD. Oh no, come on, Cross. Not like this. Not like this. Headbutt. Of course he was in headbutt. <laughs> oh, far fears. We'll take those. Come back, Roundhouse, for the win. No! Oh, no! no. <laughs> 
the oh, wow. Oh, the same thing happened at the barbecue. He had that. <laughs> I'm going to stop commentating. <laughs> <laughs> that was my fault. I, I said he was going to end the streak. Oh, man. It was supposed to... The TOD, it was there. It was there, bro. Like, I called the TOD before it even happened. And then, yeah. I'm, I'm still killing 2X, y'all. 2X KO. Good stuff, Cross, but gooder stuff, Infamy. And, um... I don't know. Who do we have now? <laughs> Come on, Cross. You had that combo. You could have just done Die, Die, Shore You. That would have been it. It would have been Die, True, Shore You. I guess you just... The 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 delay was a little too much between the medium and the shore you. It is what it is. Yeah, who do we have left? So we have Josh, C Vital, Cro no, not Cross, Tech Monkey, Mega Man. So basically everyone that's at the bar at the uh at the Brooklyn tournament right now. There's an offline tournament. And in attendance there, you have Mega Man, Technical Monkey, and Josh. The three of them are there. So they're going to have to play from the arcade. Imagine nice. that. Go into an arcade to play online. That's gangster. That's awesome. Well, Reno's not there, but Reno's going to be our anchor man. Reno's going to be our Ron Burgundy. Well, Yoga Boy, I want a camera. I want to make sure that when Josh C goes in, it's not really Mal playing for him. I want a camera. But yeah, to all the participants, I appreciate y'all. Sorry with all the hiccups that Fight Kate's having. Y'all are still chilling with us, and I think we got a couple cool stories. Just, uh... The midst of this exhibition. Uh, Digital Infamy is going to take a break. Biology kicking in. So let me ask you, what's your fondest memory of this game? <laughs> yeah, you. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I could pick one, but... You know, you, you, when you were... Uh, I was going to mention something earlier when you were talking about... Uh... Of Valle, you know, winning those tournaments, those team tournaments and everything. Yeah. I think my favorite moment from the, the, the X Mania USA tournament was uh, Valle, Choi, and Watson winning their match. Uh, and then there was that, there was that photo. I don't, you've seen that photo. Yeah, the, the black the, and white photo with the, yeah. with like Choi picking up. A Watson yeah. on his back or something, or Watson picking up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that was so cool to see because, yeah, those guys are legends. Yeah, that was definitely a hype moment. Um, 100%. I remember after watching a TOL one, so like we were all on the stage and stuff. And after that Mal Kusumundo match, because Kusumundo, like, at TOL1, he just made up new tech on the spot. Like, he was doing a thing where he would do 100 hands and then leave the hands out for a while. And if Mal pushed the button, like, the hands just kind of beat it out. It's like a huge risk. But he kept making these crazy comebacks. And eventually the game went down, or the set went to, like, the final game, right? Yeah. And uh, after that tournament, I was like, yo, Kropi. This was actually, like, the, the greatest set of 2X to ever happen, like, in the history of the game. That, that, yeah, that was that was an insane yeah. match. That was actually yeah, like I, I I I can watch that match like all day. <laughs> yeah, I mean just the energy of all the players, and that was like it was already. I mean, I guess it was like more like eleven p.m. It was late. I remember oh, it, no, was it was late. I think it was like I think it was like one in the morning. Oh, or maybe something. it was one a.m. I, I forget if I was confusing with East Coast time because at that point I was like already I was so jet lagged, even though it's only a three hour difference. And it, so it felt like it felt like two a.m. But then I thought, all right, maybe with the time zone conversion, it's more like midnight. But uh, yeah, that was it was late, and that set was actually insane. Oh, they're in my bed. Oh, they're in. Uh, so who's they? Who yeah, I see Brooklyn. Is all of Brooklyn here? Oh, yeah, Brooklyn. We got 
Crooklyn in the house. I think this is Josh. Oh, so instead of playing heel balls, instead of playing uh, Balrog, he's playing Bison. I don't know why. Trying to make a statement. But right now, Infamy is up around. Nice. You got one chance here. Got the headbutt. Watch the super. I told you to watch the super in a 55. Thank you. But watch the super. It wasn't a safe jump. So. <laughs> he, he technically jumped in a little too early. So he needed it down back. That's why I was like, watch the super. Because your jump timing was off. But it's all right. Those things happen. <laughs> all right. So Chris is up next. Oh, so they don't even need to leave the game. They can just stay in game. If we're going to do the, the Brooklyn gauntlet. All right, are they going to get back into it? So, Technical Monkey... Let me see. He gets to fight Super V every now and then. They haven't played in a while. Um, but the last time I saw them play, I think Tech Monkey took it at one of those Brooklyn tournaments. So, just pretend, you know, you're at that venue in Brooklyn playing. Because that's basically what you're doing. And you might be able to win it. Somebody's got to beat this guy. Oh, no. Actually, tell them not to play yet. I got to restart Fightcade. Uh, Digital Infamy beat Mars, and after that, we never won another match. <laughs> yeah, I got to restart Fightcade, so give me a sec. Yeah. Yeah, it says Mar got it. Before I said jump sweet with an E at the end, but uh, fix that up at the end. How are these teammates and did you draft players? So this was all Yoga Boy. Um, I think Kurobi probably reached out to a few players on Yoga Boy's behalf. And I also asked like, a few players, but the people I asked are not here. So I was basically Finger. like, yeah. So anyone that I asked, they didn't participate, which means yoga boy pretty much did all the, the groundwork and anyone he wasn't able to reach out to, we reached out and, um, you know, they all declined our offers. So. Yeah. They all tell me to get lost. Yeah. Like get out of here. You, you, you haven't ran no TOL for Get out of here. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, while while we're on that subject, what's it going to take, bro? How do we get another TOL? What do we got to do? Tell me what I need to do. <laughs> Ooh, it was supposed to be the last one. <laughs> I mean, we know that but that Atari, Atari yeah. got me to agree to, you know, for him to do uh, the number three. I mean, because we already confirmed that the last Halloween trilogy was bad. But if they made a fourth one, you know, it could redeem it. I'm just saying, even after a trilogy, a great trilogy, that is, of TOL, maybe there's room for a fourth. Make it a uh, an anthology. So let me know yeah, what I, I got to do. <laughs> Who I got to talk to. <laughs> never say never. Yeah. Yeah, CEO looking like it might be uh, pretty stacked. So I'm still trying to log into Fight Kid, so don't play anybody. It's a good thing they didn't try to make the Matrix into a trilogy and then make a fourth. Yeah, I still haven't watched Matrix Revolutions, is it? I know it's some word that starts with R E. Yeah, I think you're right. I still have to watch the last John Wick movie as well, but yeah, hopefully the last John Wick movie is better than Matrix 4 Revolutions. 
What's up, vodka? Yeah, yeah there's no, no Blanca in this tournament. Yeah, it's crazy that uh, the John Wick tournament just happened to fall on um, Keanu Reeves' lap like that, but he's basically the perfect person to play that that role. All right, I'm going to load up the Fight Kid replay of this match because they played while I had a reboot, which is efficient. That's good. But the replay is not working. I don't think replays are working right now, Yoga Boy, because of the system issues. Here, let me try. Um... They need to make a cinematic universe where, like, James Bond, Jason Bourne, and John Wick, they all fight each other and see what happens. I mean, we could just do that with AI here soon, so. <laughs> uh, the replay didn't save. Um, I'm looking at Digital Infamy's recent replays. It's not there. So let's just move to the next match, unfortunately. The guy from Taken, what's his name in that? Um, Miles? Brian Mills, that's his name. Brian Mills. Or you can just get the real Liam Neeson, same thing. Yeah, Brian Mills is his name in uh, Taken. All right, what's the next match, Yoga Boy? Because the replay is broken, and it looks like Infamy took it over... Technical Monkey, sorry for the spoiler, but uh, we still have Sea Vital, Mega Man, and Reno left. Yeah, was Infamy really about an OCV? That's crazy. Wait, don't tell Shine to restart now because it's just going to make. Because <laughs> we don't know if we're going to make it back. Just let, let's just finish this. <laughs> let Digital Infamy finish the OCV and then we get uh, a... <laughs> and then we can think about restarting the server because server restarts, they, they take a while. Yeah. All right, Mega Man's next. Let me know when they're in there and uh, we'll get some of that. All right, I'm looking forward to this. Zangief. Yeah, actually, uh, an okay match. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Zangief can punish super. So, Bison can't really rely on that unless he combos into it, gets a legitimate whiff punish, or chip out. Um, that's a lot of damage on the table if you get scooped up by an SPD. So, what's up, Dark Hutto? Well, we don't know where it's going to go, Eugene. Maybe you don't get to play. <laughs> the way it's looking right now, Infamy's kind of been on one. He, there were a couple close calls, but he's been clutching them. So yeah, Mega Man and Infamy. At the end of your 2X run, you remaining what? S Honda? Yeah, I was using him. Why? Oh. <laughs> Why? You know, well, because so when uh it, so what happened was Kusmodo, the TOL one, when I saw what he was doing with the with the hands like you were talking about yeah i was like i can't do that i'm, like, <laughs> I'm just gonna switch to whole honda because oh here we go 
Here, I just loaded it up on uh, Fightcade. I mean, on uh, Discord. Nice, got the drop kick. A lot of low rushes. Whiffed on the one tap. He's gonna eat a fierce SPD here. One knockdown should basically end it from here on out if uh, Mega Man can get it, but too eager with the jump and uh, Digital Infamy gets a dash upper. Now, Infamy's always been a Bison Ryu player. He got it. Got the first round. He also plays some Estagod as well. So he's like true SoCal. You know, he plays the SoCal characters. Well, I guess also the... I guess also just like East Coast characters. Everyone has a Sagat Bison Roo. Got grabbed. This is going to be a nice Larry. He's going to get a cross up, but got hit with oh, the no. sack throw. Unfortunate. This is where you got to do bear grab. This is where Chip Super is actually good. Uh oh. One chance. He did spin the right way. Ah, oh, but oh, missed the safe jump. I'm on the landing. All right, so uh, is that it? No, we have C Vital and Reno left. Those are two strong players to. Well, Reno is to an try Evo to champ. try to uh, get it back. I mean, Reno is an Evo champ, so. Not to mention, he's got those BS throws, so you can expect a lot of tick throwing here. Reno is basically a, a, a grappler. No, Reno is not a double champ. He won, and then he got second place, losing to Nakano Sagat. So he beat Tomo, and then he won that tournament. Actually, he beat Tomo, Miller Time, and Choi pretty much all back to back. That was kind of nutty. And then. Yeah, the the run back. If he could, if he took the two evos, that would have been super hype. But still, like grand finals two in a row is it's pretty pretty doggone impressive, I must say. With that character, no less. Like, come on. All right, they're in there. You know, MD flexing that A rank. Yeah, I think even if Tomo wasn't sick, it was with Reno's year. He played lights out. I mean, like, it sucks being sick sucks and it's going to impact, impact you, but, like, Reno was just on point. Um, anyway. All right, cool. Here we go. Reno, can you bring it back for Team Riz? Or is the retired Team Karopi just going to OCV us? Oh, no, but drop the combo. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? That's not the lore. Nice. I like that low forward. I like that low forward. Tries to jump back. That's the thing about Reno. His defense is so good that, like, he can chill on this. Oh, no, but one too many low strongs. He got hit with a jump back. He got hit with a two-hit combo on a oh. jump. And Infamy stole the round again. Take that throw. Do those BS throws you're known for. <laughs> Here we go. Safe jump. Yes. Got to bait something there. He's waiting for a headbutt, but Infamy not breaking. Nice little forward again. Jumps out of there. Doesn't want to get clipped by the headbutt. That's a stun. It's not a stun! But there he goes, the stun. Lighting him into them barrels. And now we got, we got a chance, fellas. Maybe Infamy drops on purpose? Nah, this is all Reno, right? Oh, no! No! Nice block. Head stomps out of there. Oh! Jump jab. Oh, strong. Such a good button in this match for Bison. Oh, boy. Yeah, I gotta be careful with those whiffs. Got the sand roundhouse. Overhead stun. One, two, three. That headstomp did no damage. 
That's it, throw him. Oh, you could've thrown him there. That's all right. Yes. Yes, Reno. <laughs> Finally, the streak ends. There we go, y'all. We were sandbagging. It was all scripted. We told Shine, yo, make sure the servers are messed up so it takes longer to connect. Kind of instill the, uh, you know, this fa false, sense of, uh, false sense of hope that we're going to get OCV'd. And then, you know, once the people stop paying attention, we bring it back. Good stuff to Infamy. You can have your dinner now. Spend time with the family or hang out with us in the chat. But good stuff. Taking out pretty much all the names you see there except C Vital and Reno. Yeah, that was a that was a crazy run. And you know, it's, it marks the 30th anniversary of the game. So this is this is just straight up lore right now. On the night of the 30th anniversary of 2X, Digital Infamy had the run, you know, had the run. But Reno has a chance to match that same run if he can. <laughs> Good luck, though, beating the names that we see on that uh, Team Karopi side. But hey, <laughs> here we go. It's going to be Zass and Reno. Oh, you're good, Sea Vital. So, all right. So, it's all really on Reno. He's the last one. Last samurai. I like this match for for Reno. You, you got to test Zass's reactions. If he's not, yeah, test those reactions. Let's <laughs> kind of chill out. Oh no! All right, take one throw. And Zass backs off. The throw. Cross up. Missed the cross up by a long shot. One more for stun. Gets it. Oh my goodness. It would have stunned oh. anyway. That was ugly. Come on, man. Come on. Why so much damage on that? Why indeed. That was just off one mistake. That uh, double knee into the Kokokin. That's all it was. Got the throw, cross up slide, one more for stun. Doesn't go for it, played more honest. Low short throw will usually stun. Short short low, walk up low forward. That's a Reno classic right there. Fake the throw. Oh, we got the cross up, but didn't finish the combo. He's trying to get the trade. DevRev? Watch the super. If he got the sword super, he doesn't do it. Let's go Tensho. Reno keeping the dream alive. Head press. That's a stun. Five piece mm. please. Yes. <laughs> so dirty. That's what I'm talking about. That's my boy. <laughs> well, if it was me, I would have went for a super combo. You know that. What is that? Jump roundhouse, stand short, low forward, super. I can't do normal combos. I can only combo into super. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't have super, I drop my combos most of the time. I'm like, all right, in the middle of this combo, I'll just build it. So I always go for super. So who's next? Is it going to be Jack? That boy, Vincent. Just played him a ton. I was out in, what was it, a week ago or two weeks ago now in Colorado. And uh, last week, and I got to play a ton of 2X there. Mostly against Jax, Cami, and uh, that Cami's good. And where? Uh, at the uh, Akihabara Arcade in Colorado. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, I just randomly went while I was there. It, it just so happens. But yeah, it's a nice arcade, and that's where the Jazzy Finals are going to be. So you guys can expect me there as well. But um, no, this is actually one of the few matches that Bip wins, which is funny. But he has to win by doing none of the fun stuff. So this is a good match for Reno because he can play lame. Once you go in and you get in Cammy's face, 
Like, it gets really hard. Let's see what the mix up's gonna be. Yeah, he's just waiting for something. Yo, nice jump back strong. Once you get in Cammy's face, though, and she's not blocking, the match is garbage. Got the stun with jump roundhouse. Vroom. Oh, no, he goes for slide. Silent Scope, don't be hating. For, for me, for me, this match sucks because I can't do cool stuff. You have to just be lame. It's, once you get her in her face, she wins. And so right now, you see Jack doing a lot of those jump lights. Oh, here we go. But he missed it. He missed it. All right, it's good. Still alive. No. Good patience, though, from Reno. He didn't want to... Oh, my goodness. It's a good match. It's a, this is a good Reno match, put it that way. He does, he does exceptionally well at those slowed down matches. It, it, it looks really bad for Cammy, but again, she gets in your face, the matchup starts to suck really bad. Good on Reno, he didn't slip up. Who's next? Atari? Oh, it's Mook. Oh, shoot. Yeah, let's get okay. some more camis. Ah, oh, man. All right. So, Mook Hawk. Let's see. So, this match is a weird match as well because it's Vega's favor until he gets knocked down. Then it's 10 -0. Once you put it in someone's hands like Mook's, it's actually 10 -0. Got it shared to you on Discord. But at round start, it's definitely Vega favor. It's like Hawk is not in a DP Typhoon range. USA. Now right here, I'm winning, bro. I'm winning this match. I'm chilling. I'm good. I'm still chilling. With my 7 Eleven Psycho Crushers. Got the combo. Let's go. Reno. Chilling. I'm winning this matchup. I'm still winning. That DP's going to go the wrong way. Head press. Uh-oh. Now I put myself in trouble. What am I doing? Get out of there. Nice anti air. One more for stun. Got it. Throw in the next player, please. <laughs> it's so funny that that Reno's getting the matches that Bips it actually kind of wins. The Cammy and the Hawk, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's some BS. All right, who do we have next? So NKI, I know is not gonna be able to make it. Atari, I'm not sure about Atari. Um, yeah, Reno's the anchor, so he's got he's got the power up right now. <laughs> Oh, is it gonna be Reno and Silent Scope? Let's get let's get ourselves another Cammy. <laughs> Yo, Jack, what's up, man? I thought you had that. I seriously thought you had it, but uh, when you got the safe jump, you did stand short, and I think you wanted DP, and you missed it, and after that, it all went down downhill. But I believed in you, but it's all right. I also believed in Reno. Uh, NKI was originally scheduled for this, and then he had to drop out. You know, makes sense. You know, we all got things to do, and you know, he couldn't come through. But, you know, he plays sometimes at the garage. Yo, your button went out? No, nah, I want to redo. Wait, wait, why did I load up Digital Infamy and Mook? I just saw Digital Infamy's name, and I'm like, oh, let me uh, let me load up this match. Yeah, he's one of us now. Eugene. Nah, he's one of us. Didn't you watch the garage stream? We got him over a few times. Y'all don't know your lore. <laughs> Yoga boy, Yito's in the in uh fight cade, um, uh, or he was. His um his gamer tag is underscore Y I T O something something. Well, no, Eugene, you at least had a Super Lore Boys episode, so you're you're still very much in the lore. But yeah, I can see that you're kind of out of touch with some of the competitive stuff. I can see that. 
No, nah, it's you, Scope. I don't see Ito in the in the room right now. It's gonna be Sound Scope. Oh shoot! Don't play yet, cause um, I have to restart if I can. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Everyone restart Fightcade if you haven't played yet. <laughs> restart. What do you guys think? Should we do a run back of this in the future? Like a couple months from now when there's more time to organize and get more players at a time that works for more people? When Fightcade is actually working? Kind of a fun event. Yeah, we should make like a old folks home series. <laughs> but Digital Infamy's banned. Sorry, Infamy. <laughs> or Digital Infamy can be the he can be the anchor. But um actually Mars, if you're still in the chat, Mars, I need you to fight Jack in a FT five or something. I'm trying to set up some matches. I wanna see his cami against your gal. And Steve's nuts trying to get in with the Blanca. You, yeah, you got in on the next one for sure. What would actually be cool is if we do um, all characters on both sides, like two Ruse, two Gals, two Sagats, etc. We'll have 32 players and, uh, you know, just equal representation of characters. That'd be kind of cool. And then what we need to do is just have backups in case, like, the team Riz Chun can't make it. We got the backup Chun. So obviously not everyone's going to be able to play, but at least, you know, we get to work together to make some type of cool event happen. That might be fun. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, my... Well, I'm not HR for nothing, right? FGC HR. All right, so... uh <laughs> I think it's a uh, sound scope versus I I'm back in right now. So we can do scope versus Reno. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm back. Also, Nate, um, Ricky, Ricky is coming back to NorCal for, um, he's going to let me know by this weekend, which like when he's coming by, and so when that happens, actually, I might as well announce it here. So, so Ricky TTT from Spain, he's going to be coming back to NorCal for a weekend at some point, uh, maybe in April. And um, when he does, we're going to run a tournament because like, I don't want him to just come and just play people. Like, I'm going to be like, yo, we're going to run a tournament, something local. So uh, oh, let me share this match with you. Um, so yeah, once I have that announcement, like I'll let y'all know, but if anyone's trying to come up to NorCal for a weekend, come chill with us. Anyway, right now, sounds go Reno. Here we go. This is where the match sucks. This is where the match is booty. Oh man, sound scope. Nice mix ups. And he lets off. He lets Reno have a moment. I like that stand short. Damn medium punch anti air. Psycho Crusher gets tagged by Sam Medium Kick. Reno's in trouble. It's going to be hard to come back. That's the start of something. Side switch? Yeah, jump strong side switch. That's next level meta. No, he missed a double D, but he still... He gets what? a BS throw. He got the BS throw. BST. Oh, no. Nice block. Yeah, sound scope. Fresh off his first place Genesis win. Nice Juve with Daike. I like that block string as well. Meaty low short stand strong hooligan. Good block on Reno's part. Jumps into that stand medium punch. Double knee? No, what he what? Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, gotta lame it. No, that's not how you lame it. It's so fortunate you got the throw there. Because Cammy wants you to do scissor kick on that neutral jump. Nice cycle crusher, though. Game medium mm. kick. It's a punish on drill. Double knee. Cross up. Tick throw. No, safe jump. Tick throw. That was tricky. Again, he got the throw. These BS throws. <laughs> he shouldn't be getting those. Some salty for a, for a sound scope right now. And looking like a good round for Reno. Nice trade on the anti air. Gotta chill, and he gets a 7-Eleven Psycho Crusher, Reno. 
BSTs. Those BS throws, man. You got BSTs on deck. You should be getting... Seriously, because Cammy, once she makes you block something, she'll almost always get the throw, I feel like. I don't know. But, I mean, sometimes you got to do it. Team Painter's jobbing. I don't know. I, it, this isn't scripted, y'all. It's not scripted. It's for real, for real. Yeah, 7-Eleven Psycho Crusher is when you just do it. You're playing like you're at a 7-Eleven. <laughs> You know, it's just 7-Eleven strats. Silent script. All right, here we go. So now we have Yito, who I mentioned also had a top eight finisher at uh, XSB. He actually had a fun match against um, uh, Donyan. Donyan, who set a world record beating Dawson two games in less than a minute and a half or something. <laughs> but um, Yito also plays this character. But I think they, they have a lot of experience against each other. Oh, that's the start of it. Nice block on the Inferno. That's a big problem out the way, but no punishes on these drills. And that's, a, that's a combo? No, just one hit. This match in the mid-screen is okay. In the corner, it's basically donezo. So once you get cornered by Dalsim, like right here, nice slide sack throw, though. Cross up slide, throw him, please. Good for head stomp, so clean. Uh oh, and this is the problem. This is where the matchup is the absolute worst. Nice block on that and the super. He has a chance to get out. There we go. With the sack though, because Dalsum's stupid like that. Oh, and the Hakusei Roundhouse. And I think that's it. Yito. Yito takes it for Team Kuropi using that roundhouse. The first time I saw that roundhouse, I could tell you when. I can pinpoint exactly when. It was uh, Hakase against NKI at a SBO when NKI teamed up with Justin Wong. And he did this block string, and then he baited the Tensho and beat it with that roundhouse. And then Nohoho and I, we talked about it. We are like, what the hell was that? Was that intentional? And we had no idea what Hakase was capable of. But uh, that's a cool SBO team. NKI and Justin Wong, that's the guy. But uh, good job, Team Kuropi. I don't know if we're going to do it GameSpot versus style where um, the rest of the players will just play each other. So it's going to be uh, Yito versus L Trouble. Um, there's also Miller Time and Hokuto. Yeah. Yeah, I, I want to see them play. Let Yoga. everybody get in on the action. Yeah, let everybody get in. Yoga Boy, I don't know what you mean by that comment, so I'm going to let that one... I'll let it go. Yo, Dinky Flicks, how many of your cabs did you bring to NorCal? Can I have one? <laughs> There's a cool event that we have here um, in NorCal called the California Extreme. It's a pinball arcade expo, and you know people just bring, like... A whole bunch of arcade cabinets so we run a hyper fighting tournament there every year now and you know dinky flakes bring some of his machines um but yeah it, it's a cool spot we actually did uh some videos on it if you want to check it out on the super lore boys channel but uh yeah dinky yeah, yeah. flakes and his girl they bring a bunch of cabinets so Dang, that's crazy how many cabs how many cabs are at cax oh my god i can't count it I can't. It must be in the easily in like the several hundreds, right? Dinky Flicks might know, but between cabinets and pinball machines, it's like a couple hundred for sure. Yeah, we did a short documentary type deal. I, 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 I don't want to talk about it. Just watch it because it was pretty free sell. Um, yo, Eugene, you know how when Gamespot versus they end their their east, their, they end their east west battles, and the winner just stays on and goes through the rest of their team. It's like that. All right, so it's going to be a Dalson Mirror. Remember how we were talking about Zoolander with Slide Slide Super? El Trouble's favorite combo is Slide Super. 
But he can only do it on one side. Alright, so this is Tanya, my bad. So we, we're not gonna see it yet. Damn it, I didn't want Yuji to hear what I just said. But uh, hopefully, hopefully he didn't listen to me. But yeah, he does like drill slide super. He can only do it on one side. And right now we have um, Killer Miller versus Yito. I wonder if Killer Miller is a reference to um, that uh, one Christian Bale movie, The Machinist. Oh, that's a stun. No, it's not a stun. If he did it heavy, it would have been. Just didn't get a chance there. Miller time just didn't get a chance to get in because Honda can definitely do some damage. But um, I've seen Ito's defense on this match. He'll slide under headbutts. He'll snipe stuff yep. out. Like his his uh his awareness is really good. Such a good anti-air. Here we go. That's a punish. Oh, no hands. Yeah. Sitting it to bust out those hands. Johnny Depp in that one movie. Yeah. He's played Yudo you know, a ton in this match on Fight Kid. Why? why? <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> He is so, he's so patient. He's so, uh, he's so knowledgeable in that match. Well, he's patient until it's time to go ham. Uh, once he goes ham. Oh, you guys should have just stayed in your match. Actually, you didn't need to exit. But sorry, whatever. Yeah, you can jab to beat Butt Slam. Jab is basically a sure you. You know, Dalsim's jab. Basically a dragon punch, so. Yeah, Dalsim Mirror now. This is going to be interesting. I always say this match is more about high ground. So whoever dive kicks first and does a bad one, they're probably going to get hit by the other one. It's very much based on that. But there's good buttons in this match too. Um, and drills don't do a ton of damage. They do a lot of stun though. Dalsim can stun off two drills. But uh, here we go. Oh, using that roundhouse again. <laughs> nice. Well, actually, no. They, they switched colors. So Yito's playing the L Trouble color. I'm confused. Nice hey. sniper. Oh, and the Afro Cole. It's also Afro Cole's color too, right? That was sick. He did the Afro Cole grab. Whiff roll throw. Yeah. See the high ground. You drill first, and I'm gonna get you. Right, what's the setup gonna be? This punishes that stand fierce with the drill. Got sniped. Oh no. One of the yoga arts for sure. Nice mummy drill. Here we go. Busts out the dirt. Back medium punch. He has a chance. Ah, oh, but that low forward. That's really a dragon punch. The best normal in the game right there. Round back medium kick. Oh, boy. Wow, that's a three-hit combo. <laughs> Why are you doing combos with Dalsin? You don't have to do that. <laughs> what? Why are you doing combos with this character? You don't have to do combos. But Yito just hit the real combo. He beat both Miller time and El Trouble back to back. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw that in your combo trials uh, sound scope. So now, so now is it a sim? I mean, uh, uh, oh, it's gonna be Yito versus Okudo. I'm pretty sure this is the grand finals of probably the last big tournament we did. All right. Yeah, the 2 Xmas tournament. This is a run back where Yito was like so close to beating Hokuto. And then the final round of the tournament, Hokuto wall dived him, got a perfect, and that was the end.
that was a close freaking bracket. Like, that grand finals. So, let's see what happens. Final bosses. Going, going at it. And they're doing it for Mexico. I re respect that. Okay, that's three three wall dives on his wall. Nice nice tag on both of those. And a jump fierce beating something out. This should be the round. Oh no, it's not. It's medium kick. And he has Inferno, so good 50-50 mix up, but chip out, yeah. Only thing there would have been Teleport or Inferno if he did it as a non-reversal. Good reaction on the Terror. This might be it. 30 years of 2x led to this very moment. If Okudo can get one more... <laughs> he doesn't even need a heal ball. It's just got the, the three-hit Terror. That's it. <laughs> This is the game that we play. GG's. Good stuff. I like how uh, things got much faster near the end there. But uh, yeah, big shout outs to, to uh, Yoga Boy for organizing all that. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot to get so many people playing at the same time. So I appreciate everyone that that was able to make the time for this. I understand that there was a Euro version as well, hosted by Bazooka. So, you know, check that out. I'm sure when we do the 40th anniversary, all y'all will still be playing and we'll do it bigger and better and probably still get beat by Infamy, but, you know, that's the way it goes. <laughs> What's well, good with you, Karopi? Any words you'd like to share? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I need to get back into this, into the loop. You missed it a little bit, just a little. Yeah, I mean, seeing, seeing, uh, seeing all these names, all these old names. Watching, watching St again, got me a little excited. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just take take baby steps, you know. Yeah. First, first step is you downloaded Fightcade. That's good, right? The second yep. step is start organizing Tol Four. That's how you got to do it. Just baby steps. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's step number two. <laughs> yeah, there you go. that's it. That's all you got to do. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be doing the uh, the uh, the Japanese restream um, for the Yaya exhibition, Yaya Kuruvega. Um, but I'm gonna take a little bit of a break before then, just so I can charge up. So. You know, it's been cool having you on. I'm definitely going to start bothering you on Discord now that I know you're active on. Well, I'm, I'm considering you active now. But now that you're on the Dr. Pepper Boy server, I'm definitely going to be bothering you. Um, yeah. And, yeah, I mean, I'll be back in a couple of hours. It should start around 10 p.m. Pacific time. So I got, like, two hours where I can kind of chill a little bit. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll start the stream and, you know, do it for 30th. So appreciate y'all again for, for swinging by. And uh, yeah, catch y'all soon, I suppose. Yeah, I'll, I'll come. I'll come back for the stream later on. Oh shoot! So you're gonna stay up? That's gangster. I'll I'll see how how long I can stay up. Yeah, I mean, cause they're doing they're basically going at it for like a whole yeah, day. Know. You know, they're they're gonna be it's gonna be a long thing. But I'm most interested in this FT10. I mean, I got my money on Yaya, my digital fake money, not crypto. I'm just it's a figure of speech, but. I think I think it's gonna be Yaya taking the win over um, Kuru Vega because of two reasons. One, like Yaya just has the the match on deck. I mean, like he trained with Vega, with Tyra Vega for a long time, and the the experience, as I said, like experience trumps so much of what happens in this game. As, as strong as Kuru Vega is at the age that he's at and like his understanding of the game and playing multiple characters, even though the match is in his favor, I don't know. I got Yaya, but we'll see. You know, I like to eat my own words. I'm, I'm hungry and I want to eat my own words. So we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, man, thanks for coming through again. And uh, 
you know, we'll chat. We'll chat soon. Maybe I'll see you on a stream later. Yeah, we'll do. All right, y'all. And shout out to Digital. Yeah, shout out to everybody. Shout out to everyone who, who played on this, for real. Like, I, I can't believe we actually did it. When Yoga Boy brought up this idea, I was just like, I don't know. I don't really have that much time to organize it. It's ambitious. Um, but he made it work somehow. I don't know. I don't know how Yoga Boy, I don't know how much he paid all y'all. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, thank you, Yoga Boy, for using your, your efforts for this event. It was, it was a cool event. And, uh, you know, we'll do it again in a couple of years, probably. But yeah, on that note, time to eat, chill, maybe play some Alpha 3, and then I'll be back to stream 2x. So I'll catch y'all later. All right. All right, y'all. Later, everybody. Peace.